ladies of el salón the chronicles oh yeah ladies of el salón the chronicles escucha ladies of el salón. And so it can be very mm -hmm. emasculating yeah uh because you're right claudio to this day you know there's still some stigma if you're dating a woman who makes more money than you not necessarily because money doesn't necessarily equate to you know being more successful so i'll just you know, if a woman's making more money than the man, it's still sort of like, hmm, I'm not, that's not okay. Whereas the other way around, it's, it is okay. And the other thing is that I think that the lines are blurred in terms of masculinity, masculinity and toxicity um, in the sense that our fathers, our mothers, uh, our uncles are teaching our young men that to be masculine uh, you know, is not talking to a woman in a respectful manner, right? So you become a man the minute you have sex, or you become a man, you know, how many uncles didn't take, venga lleva muchacho para Santo Domingo para que, you know, you have your first sex, so that your first, you know, girl, because that's what makes you a man, mm -hmm. as opposed to all these other values that yeah. we're trying to teach our children today, at least I, as the mother of a boy, uh, a 14-year-old boy, uh, you know, try to teach him the value of being masculine and how that equates to being respectful in, in today's society and the things that are not acceptable in any shape, way, or form. And that's in relation to his sister, because he has an older sister. So I, I am dropping that torch because I grew up in an environment where, you know, I did the dishes and the man sat in the living room and conversations were allowed to be had mm -hmm. in certain ways. Yeah. And I definitely, and we're all mothers of boys, and I think that we're all trying really hard to break that cycle. Um, but it becomes kind of difficult yeah. because, like mm -hmm. you said, it's rooted in our culture. Um, it's part of our... our, and it's, our and it's rooted, it's rooted in us, too. Yeah, yeah it's, mm -hmm. exactly. So, um, well, and I think we're guilty. Yeah. And we're guilty of doing that as oh, well. Yeah. We're guilty of telling our boys, are telling our boys, no haga eso. Man up. You know, be a man. Yeah. Man up. Or, <laughs> you know, girls girls are not going to like that. You know, you, you better fix yourself or you better do this or that because women are not going to look at you. So we, we are very guilty as mothers of doing that as well. But but there's there's nothing wrong with, you know, having teaching our boys to step up. I don't think there's anything wrong. However, I feel like society is giving conflicting information because, like, I'm going to read just uh, the lyrics of the song, and let's see if y'all can recognize who sings this. Uh, no, if your status know. ain't hood, I ain't checking for him. Oh, <laughs> better be street child. if he looking at me. I need a soldier that ain't scared to stand up for me. No, to carry big things if you know what I mean. That was Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? So we want this sensitive, caring, open guy, and then, but then we want a soldier. So are we <laughs> to blame yeah. in, like, how you guys respond to, to our needs? Wait, can't we have it both? Yeah, absolutely. Or so, can we? Claudio, no. Yeah, I think, I think you could. I think <laughs> you could. So no, break I that think... down. No, no, I totally agree. I mean, I think you could definitely have both, right? It's just a matter of um, finding both, right? <laughs> That's number one, right? Like, I think finding it is is the hard part. But I also think, like, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't place blame anywhere. It's just kind of like what's passed down to us. And I think what's passed down to us isn't really realized at eight or sixteen. It's realized at like twenty four and thirty and forty, right? That's when you start realizing, like, yo, a lot of my behavior is due to this. Like I was talking to a homegirl last night. Um, I think the homegirl you guys saw me, the, the homegirl you, you guys saw me with at, at that restaurant on thirty seventh, and um, she was just telling me how like she gives a lot of men rope. Like they, they could be fucking up, but she gives them rope, rope, rope. And she was like, yo, my mom, she gives rope, 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 rope. And, and she was like, it took me like 40 years to realize that, you know, I was giving that much rope to men and, and kind of like, even if I wasn't noticing it, I was, I was visually seeing it. Um, and, it, and I was kind of like digesting it and it was just a part of me because I saw my mom doing it. Um, but I think, you know, for the most part, you know, when you, when you think about this type of stuff, it's like, it's hard because I, I think, and, and it goes back to what I was saying, you, you have two sides who, are, you know, are, are sort of clashing, right? You have, 
you know, the very like old school, like come from DR side that thinks everything should be the same way, right? Like the same way that it was for their mom and dad. And then you have the people, I, I'm assuming that some of you were born here, um, who were all born here and kind of like have that like different mentality, right? And I think when it comes to boys, I think for the most part, whether it's a single parent household or dual, I think it really depends on like what you expose those individuals to, right? If like it's kind of exposure to kind of the same old stuff that's like very like steeped in masculinity, it's going to be very hard for that kid to kind of like, you know, appreciate or like view women in a, in a manner um, that's respectful. Because I think like when when the real when the real perspective on women really starts for me is, is when I think men go to college, um, especially if they go away because they're away. Right. And they're around men that they've never met and are boys that they've never met. Right. And at that point, they're, you know, it's these yeah, are because in college are you're off to their own devices. <laughs> you're not a man yet. Yeah. So you're off to your own devices and all that stuff. So, um, you know, that's where that's where a kid's like perception of women can really kind of change for the better or for the or it could kind of like cement itself for the better or really just kind of go to a place where it's much worse and kind of frat boyish and shit like that but um you know i think it's definitely doable it's just like it, it's about patience too right like i think on, on on from like i can't speak for women but what i would say is that you know as guys i'm 37 like i, I got late to this i mean i've been going to therapy for five years but in terms of really kind of like opening up and being more like vulnerable about whatever like i'm still a work in progress like even though you may see what you may see you know on ig or anything like it's still a work in progress and i would say like two or three years ago is when i really kind of like started like tapping into that you know and i think you know it's it's also rooted in just asking you know sometimes we just don't even just like ask a person like yo this is what i need right it's just like oh this is who he is and he kind of right. seems exterior the exterior seems like it wouldn't give me that um but sometimes you'd be surprised at what a person is actually willing to give you you know if you if you ask for it and you know he he obviously wants to be in something with you so yeah i mean i i think you know i always talk to my friends about like dating in the dominican community and i was single for four years um, and, and I saw a lot of these dynamics play out, you know, in my personal relationships um, and in my friends is where it's like, you know, sometimes you'll you'll you'll, you'll tap the, the vulnerable button like, all right, let me just let me just keep it real with this chick. And then you keep it real. And it's like, nah, I ain't trying to hear that. You know what I mean? And then it's like, all right, so I'm not going to tap that button with you because I'm actually because at that point, you're you're you're. You may be trying to clarify some shit, but really what you're trying to do is kind of like grow as an individual. You're like, all right, I'm going to do something that's out of my norm to see if like how that feels for me. But if you shut that shit down, it's going to be hella hard for like a dude to like kind of continue, you know, even being open with anyone. So um, there, there has to be a space. There has to be space for grace, you know, on both sides on both sides because I think there's okay. women too that grow right. up in households where they kind of see the, like the, the typical kind of like stereotypical Dominican dad right who like oh is stepping right. out and doing all this other shit and like you know if, if that girl has trust issues even if she projects them to you I think at the same time as long as it's not harmful to the relationship like on a consistent level you have to understand that she has to get to that point to trust you like mm -hmm even if it ever gets fully because she was able she had to see like you know what her mom went through what her aunts went through and all those other people so i i, I think we just right. gotta be open to each other ladies of el salon the chronicles oh yeah ladies of el salon the